What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm bringing you a video that I had actually planned years ago. Back in 2016, I went ahead and bought this and the, and the goal was to go ahead and eat this entire thing. So this is an MRE, meal ready to eat. This container has about 10,910 total calories. The life expectancy on this is 20 years. It's with a bunch of different type of varieties. You have macaroni and cheese, pancakes, and creamy chicken rice. Now, I'm not sure why I never actually did this video, but today is, I feel like a perfect timing for a video like this. And not only do we have this, but we have these right here. These, I'm a little worried about. So each one of these packets has about 3,600 calories. So 3,600 here, 3,600 here, and I'm not really sure what the flavoring of this is. It doesn't say on the package, but the reason why I am scared of this is because this thing is hard as rock. You can literally knock somebody out with this. And I'm not sure how that's going to go with my teeth since I do have Invisalign. So my teeth are somewhat sensitive and you're not supposed to actually eat like hard foods while you're doing Invisalign. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully none of my teeth fall out. Right now I have water boiling on the stove. We're gonna go ahead and grab that, bring it over here and start preparing these foods and see how tasty they are. For some reason, I feel like they're not gonna be so tasty. So I did bring my little stinger to keep the water boiling right here. We have a good amount of water right there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these to the side for now and then we're gonna go ahead and open this bad girl up okay there we go they're just bags just like that macaroni and cheese buttermilk pancakes maple brown sugar oatmeal creamy rice chicken cheese powder for the macaroni and cheese and then creamy potatoes Livia wants to make this for me so I'm gonna go ahead and let her make this for me oh, hello 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 I feel so in charge right now welcome to Livia's cooking saloon in emergency times. All right, so we figured out how we're gonna do this. We are gonna start with the maple brown sugar oatmeal because this is very simple. We just put the powder or oatmeal in the bowl, add five cups of water, stir for two minutes, and then it's ready to eat. And at the same time, we're going to boil the pasta in the water for 15 minutes to continue. This smells... I can smell it from here. What do you think? Does it smell like your usual oatmeal? It does, yeah. One eternity later. All right, uh, a couple of minutes later and we are done with the oatmeal. It's really creamy and honestly, this smells 100% like a McDonald's McGriddle. It smells good, I gotta say that. It's really, really hot though, so I'm stirring to get the steam out, but I think we let the, put this to the side, let the steam off and get the pasta cooking. Ooh, it's hot. Oh yeah, look at this creamy consistency. Now we wait. 12 seconds later. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a lot of pasta. And now all we do is add the cheese powder to the drained macaroni. It looks like Cheeto dust. Look at how orange this is. This looks like this is gonna stain clothing and never let go. Insanely orange. This is done, so in here I'm boiling the water for our creamy chicken and rice. And that's, that needs to simmer 20 minutes. So I didn't think that this was gonna be such a process. I thought it was just gonna be like add water and then eat, but this is like actual full on cooking and then eat. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and taste some of this stuff right now while this is cooking. Livy's gonna go ahead and put the- Creamy chicken rice in here. Uh, in the bowl and I'm gonna go ahead and, cause this is the one that's been done for a while, go ahead and have some of this maple brown sugar oatmeal. And I just, I had no idea how much it was going to be. But let's go ahead and try this. All right, so Olivia says, claimed that this smells like a McGriddle. It doesn't smell like a McGriddle anymore. I think the contents of it did. And the taste is kind of bland. It's bland? It doesn't taste anything like maple brown sugar. This is still decent for what it is. It is just oatmeal. But if I had to survive off of this, I could. Mm. And if I'm honest, it tastes a little old. Maybe like some expired oatmeal. Mm. And let me just tell you, I definitely will not be able to eat all of this. So this is pretty much 
taste testing. And I think I'll probably stop at that. There's still a good amount over there. Next, we have this macaroni and cheese that looks very hazardous. This is very, very orange. Way more orange than any macaroni and cheese I have ever eaten in my entire life. And to be honest, I'm a little scared of how it's gonna taste. I feel like my taste buds are gonna burn off. I don't know if you guys can see the, the saturation of this orange, but it is dangerously orange. And it smells, it almost smells oversaturated. Aye. It actually looks worse than it tastes. It doesn't taste bad. I could definitely survive off of this. Mm. It almost has like a little bit of sweetness to it. Which I kind of like about the macaroni and cheese. Mm. Some of the cheese has really clumped up together and turns it into like, mm. it's almost like you're eating like a piece of plastic. I've also found that the cheese makes your hands very sticky. Uh, my hands feel like I've been touching just straight honey or like some sugar. I definitely feel like they sweeten up the macaroni and cheese for the taste. Mm. Now, if I was in a situation where I had to rely on these foods, I would be more than happy to survive off the macaroni and cheese. Huh. And that's gonna be my last bite right there. And next we have the rice and chicken that's boiling in this pot. And once that's ready, we're gonna go ahead and dig into this. Tomorrow. All right, so I think this is finished right here. This is the chicken and rice. It is still creamy, but I think it's time to just start plating this up. Ah, oh, it's hot. Mm. All right, so that's what it looks like right there. It doesn't look too bad. It's very creamy. I'm not sure, but I think the rice might be a little hard. So that I don't think that's a problem with the boiling because it's been boiling for quite some time. So it should already be soft, but I imagine that the rice isn't gonna be like super soft. Like you just boil it on the stove and it comes out and it's nice and poofy with a good texture. I don't think it's gonna be like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and cool this off and taste this. This rice is actually very good. I prefer this over the macaroni and cheese and I prefer this over the oatmeal. Um, the rice, it's a little tough, it's a little hard, it doesn't have that nice poofy texture, but this is something I could probably eat like on an everyday basis. Mm. And I'm gonna go ahead and eat this entire bowl because I think it is that good. All right, so this is done. I'm gonna just show you if you guys can see how creamy that is. I am gonna go ahead and drain that and then I'm gonna box that up and have it for the week because I think this is something I can eat with some of my meals and I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that. Next, we're gonna do the pancakes and I'm gonna have Livia help me with that. All right, pancakes. And a huge thank you to Olivia for making these pancakes for me. This has been a very, very long task, this whole entire video. If you could do me a favor, just hit that like button because this is literally taking us the entire afternoon. Um, but we have the pancakes right here and they are done. So these, this is all the pancake batter. So this is all the pancakes you get in the package. Now um, I am gonna go ahead and eat both of these uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a syrup too. So first of all, the smell of it, it smells, it smells like pancakes. So nothing weird about that. We're gonna go ahead and take a piece of it. It looks light, fluffy. So let's go ahead and try this. Mm. So the pancakes are pretty decent. Um, these are larger pancakes. And I think the reason why it's kind of burnt on top is because we used all the batter for two massive pancakes. So it was a little longer to cook even though we lowered the heat. Mm but the inside of it is nice and fluffy and soft. And honestly, it's just a pancake, so very edible. I would definitely be able to survive off this stuff. Hmm. Mm. And you know what? I bet it will be better with some syrup on top of this. 
All right, and really quickly, I have to run to the kitchen and turn off the stove because we're cooking the potato soup, which will be the last of the box. We have the potato soup and that is steaming hot right off the stove. All we had to do for this one is just put it in a pot with boiled water and then just simmer it and then voila, you have this right here. And it looks kind of watery. Hopefully it thickens up. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these pancakes now and then we're gonna dig into that. And we're done with the pancakes. A five star pancakes, huge thumbs up from me. And now for the potato soup. It looks like it thickened up just the way I would hope it had. And um, potato soup. I can't remember the last time I had potato soup. The little chunks inside of the soup is just cut up potatoes. And it has a weird texture. So obviously cooking it, you'd think they'd soften up, but it's kind of, it's a little crunchy, just a tad crunchy. Kind of tastes grainy. So we are done with the entire, I'm gonna use this. Trying everything in this. Eating that entire thing would be pretty insane. I think one person that I know actually did the whole thing, but she is not human. And her name is Molly Schuyler. So, so we just went ahead and opened this. Ooh, that does not smell good at all. So uh, I think this would qualify for MRE since you open it and it's ready to go. One of these packages is a three a day supply for food. We're gonna go ahead and pull this out. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's, it's literally a block. It's like a big block and it has like no smell whatsoever. Okay, oh, it's, I guess it's like a big cookie. Where'd it go? I can't really get that taste. It's a lot softer than I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be just like eating a rock. It breaks down in your mouth really easy. It's almost very crumbly. I can taste some of the sweetness in there. Mm. One of these cubes equals to about 410 calories and I can definitely taste the sweetness from the sugar they add in it. One cube has about 16 grams of sugar. Obviously this food isn't for like luxury. It's food to survive off of. When you're, when you're on trips or long missions, like in the military, uh, things of that nature. So I understand it serves its purpose for just being a food with the nutritional value to last you. It's not about taste. But honestly, after you keep eating this, you kind of get used to the taste and it's not that bad. On the front, it actually does give you a flavor, but it's in very small writing and it says, pleasant lemon vanilla flavor. I can taste a hint of the vanilla, but I don't taste any lemon whatsoever. It also says in huge words, non thirst provoking formula. You're definitely gonna need a drink to eat this because once that breaks into your mouth, it kind of just, the particles of food just kind of sticks to your saliva. Um, so you're gonna definitely need some type of liquid to wash that down. And I actually have four more of these packs and that's just for emergencies. Um, but this one, I'm probably just gonna save and put it on the shelf. Uh, hopefully it lasts, hopefully nothing happens and I don't need to eat it. And I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. This wasn't a food challenge, it was more just like a food taste test to see what I personally think about these foods. Anyways, I hope that you guys were able to enjoy this video. It's not the usual like, you know, restaurant food or anything of that nature. Obviously you guys know that most restaurants, obviously you guys know that it's not so easy as it was just to pick up food and bring it home. And a lot of the places right now, like restaurants, they cut their menu in half and some of them have even closed all the way down. So we're very limited on what we can do at this time, but hopefully everything smooths out in the next few weeks. I'm really hoping so because we are all in this together, which is crazy. Um, it's almost like a, it's like a chapter out of a book or just kind of like a movie. It's, it's an insane thing. Every day is like a weird day. Anywho, I'm not going to get too deep into that, but hope you guys are staying safe and uh, I'll see you at the next video. Peace.